Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the gentleman from Massachusetts for yielding. I urge my colleagues to vote no and defeat the previous question so that we can bring up my amendment, which would block the House GOP majority from cutting Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. President-elect Donald Trump has promised many times throughout his campaign that he would not cut Social Security benefits for seniors, nor would he support cuts to Medicare or Medicaid benefits. In fact, he at least 15 times said he would not make cuts to Medicare or Social Security. He even tweeted it, so we know he really, really meant it. So if it's important to the Democrats and it's important to the President-elect, it's important to the American people, let's make sure it's absolutely certain that no one has to worry about a cut in their Social Security and Medicare benefits, not a single cut to anyone. If we could do that, that would be the single biggest success of the 115th Congress. If you support the idea that you will not cut Social Security and Medicare, that you will protect the promise to our constituents, then support this amendment. But if you're not sure yet, or if you might be willing to cut Social Security and Medicare, or if you're actually considering cutting these programs, then you should oppose this amendment. Again, our amendment would block any legislation before the House or Senate which cuts guaranteed earned benefits under Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid programs that would increase the retirement age for these benefits or that would privatize Social Security. Nationally, over 64 million people receive benefits from Social Security. I want to read a couple comments from constituents from the state of Wisconsin, the home state of Speaker Paul Ryan and myself. Uh, Robin from Mount Hoare, Wisconsin said, please do everything in your power to oppose Speaker Ryan's legislation to privatize Social Security and Medicare. These are our earned benefits for a lifetime of working as dairy farmers. Carol from Madison said, I'm a retired Navy veteran and a cancer survivor. My grandfather, a World War II and Korean War vet, is living in a home on Medicaid and Medicare. What is going to happen to him if Republicans are successful in drastically altering these programs? Democrats believe we need to protect our senior citizens and the most vulnerable in our society. Democrats believe we need to strengthen the middle class through the preservation of Social Security and Medicare, and so do the American people. Do Republicans share our belief? Let's make it crystal clear. Do you want to protect Social Security and Medicare, or do you want to cut these earned benefits. You can decide that with this vote. I urge my colleagues to vote no and defeat the previous question so that we can bring up the CPC, uh, Pocan, Ellison, Grijalva, Lee, Schakowsky Amendment and find out who truly supports Medicare and Social Security in this House. And I yield back.